One Bean, written by Anne Rockwell and illustrated by Megan Halsey. This is a Walker and Company publication. I had one bean. It was dry and smooth and hard. I put it on a wet paper towel. I covered it with another wet paper towel and soon its skin had turned all wrinkly. My bean had gotten fatter too. I think it got too fat for its skin because the skin split. This meant it was time to plant my bean. I filled a paper cup with black potting soil. Then I laid my fat wrinkly bean in the cup and I covered it with soil. I watered it when the soil was dry. Even though I couldn't see my bean hidden under the damp black soil, I watched for it every day. Then one day, just like in the story of Jack and the Beanstalk, something wonderful happened. A greenish white stalk poked up from the soil. My bean was dangling from the end of it. Do you see the little bean dangling? Soon two leaves grew on my bean plant. These were shaped like valentine hearts. More green heart-shaped leaves sprouted. My bean plant grew bigger and bigger. It needed a bigger place to live and grow. I filled a flower pot with potting soil. Very gently, very carefully, I took my one bean with its bright green leaves and roots spreading through black moist soil out of the paper cup. I planted it in the flower pot where it could stay. Sunshine shone on it and made my bean plant grow some more. One day, I saw lots of little green bumps on my bean plant. Those little bumps were buds. The buds burst open and lots of white flowers blossomed among the green, green leaves. When the white flowers fell off, tiny, tiny bean pods hung in their place. Before long, there were lots of bean pods growing on my beautiful bean plant. Those tiny bean pods grew bigger. One day I picked one. I split it open and looked inside. What do you think I saw? I saw some smooth and shiny beans shaped just like the one bean that had started it all. I picked a few pods and ate the beans that grew inside them, and they were very, very good. One, two, three. What happens when you plant just one little bean? I hope you enjoyed the story. I wonder what seeds you can find from your food and try to plant. I even planted something that wasn't a seed. I planted the bottom of my celery, just in a little bit of water. And look what happened. New celery began to grow. There are lots of ways to grow. If you live in a home, an apartment, or if you have a big yard like some people.